Guys, Terence Crawford is being frozen out by the PBC Al Heyman. Terence Crawford, I've made several videos about this because you know what it really pains me about Terence Crawford? Because Terence Crawford is one of the best fighters, if not the best fighter in the world. Probably behind Lomachenko, if I'm honest, but he's one of the best. And he's not getting to fight the top welterweights because of the fact that Al Heyman doesn't work with Bob Arum. And the problem what I have is that Bob Arum is showing that he works with Eddie Hearn. He works with all the other promoters around the world. Delaware up and he even wants to work with Al Heyman. It's Al Heyman that doesn't want to work with other promoters. He's just trying to keep everything in house, which is really frustrating me. Because you're conning the fans of a great matchup. You're conning the fans of seeing one of the best fighters or the best fight the best. You're conning them. And then until there's a lot more people like you know, higher up, higher up than what I am. Higher, you know, top, put pressure on Al Heyman. You know, nothing's going to happen. And this is sad because Terence Crawford, one of the best fighters in the world, is being frozen out, right, when his promoter is trying to make the fight. So be credit to Bob Arum. I have said that Terence Crawford would have to leave Bob Arum in order to get those big fights. The problem is his promoter is trying to make the big fights. We just saw his promoter fight um, Ramirez fight Hooker, and he didn't care of him fighting on his own. He he put him on his own. Listen, obviously Crawford he'd want that on ESPN, but the problem is is that Al Heyman now right now is showing reluctancy to make that fight. He's not even make Spence. I'm saying any welterweight, any Danny Garcia, you know Keith Thurman, er Errol Spence, Sean Porter, all of those guys are with Al Heyman, and he's. To me, he's showing reluctancy to put him in there with any of them. You know, so... And sometimes I think Bob Arum is making an offer. And the offer, Al Heyman's not even letting the fighter know what the offer is. Danny Garcia openly said that, you know, they say that there was an offer made. Well, I never heard anything about it. So is that a case where Al Heyman's just kind of blocking it completely? Where Danny Garcia's not... He's not even letting Danny Garcia and Angel Garcia know about what's going on. And to me, that's wrong. Because Danny Garcia is openly saying that, you know, he never heard anything about the offer. Well, Bob Arum is saying he made the offer. Danny Garcia said it was all talk. I don't think so. Because he made an offer to Amir Khan. And Amir Khan got the paid. He got that money against Crawford. So, what's going on? You know, and I just think... Al Heyman is doing boxing a disservice right now by not, by not um, letting Terence Crawford fight his fighters. It's simple as that. If Bob Arum is trying to make a fight, let it happen. Let it happen. You have most of the significant fighters in your stable in the welterweight division. Let them fight Terence Crawford. What are you afraid of? You know, the fans want to see Terence Crawford fight the best welterweights and you have the best welterweights, let him fight. But he's just trying to, he's just trying to, in my opinion, just trying to, he's just, he's just trying to freeze him out, which is really frustrating for the fans. And the fans are not taking kindly for kindly to it. A lot of, a lot of people are starting to talk out against Al Heyman. A lot of the fans, because they can clearly see what's happening right now. Clearly, it's blatant that Al Heyman is... It's freezing out Terence Crawford. So leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think. I've made several videos about this before and, you know, frustrating times. But leave your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.